In this lesson, we're talking about multidimensional lists and what these are are really um, lists of lists. So you have the option to uh, structure your data in what I would call more of a Cartesian coordinate type of system. If you want, there's actually uh, no limit on the number of dimensions, but it's really hard to think about uh, anything beyond three dimensions in your code. So when you look at what a what a two-dimensional list they're used to, to represent tables and um, and you think of it as rows and columns that you're that you're putting these into it really is the list is the rows are the lists and then the columns are the lists that are stored within that first list of items so the way that you look at it in a two-dimensional list or matrix then you've got uh, the rows and the columns are first and then second. So you use two square brackets instead of the single square bracket when you're referring to each of these items. We'll get, you know, we'll get to the brackets when you, we talk about syntax later in the lessons. So the first number you use right here will identify which row you are talking about in your matrix and the second one will be the second spot or the column in your matrix. So here's kind of what it looks like when you look at it. So here's our rows going down the, if you think about it, every time you add a new item, you're adding a new row, and then each row has a certain number of columns. And so when I talk about the zero, zero, that means I'm in the first, remember all our, uh, or think about all of your arrays and your lists start in zero that's the first spot so zero is my first row and the zero here means my first column and here you can see I'm still on row zero but here's my first column my second column which is in the one spot and so in here's zero so everything on this row starts with a zero and it keeps on going as long as you keep adding uh, columns and here all of them will start with a one here they all start with a two and here they all start with a three because that's the rows as we go down. Whereas here you've got each column. So all of the columns are the same going this direction. This is all the same and this is all the same going down this way. And so to access them you will use the row and column that you want to get in your matrix. This is really good for setting up any, like I said, it's like a Cartesian coordinate system almost. And so when you think about graphing or mapping things out that's uh, really effective. And so the way that you initialize them, uh, we'll talk about again later in the lessons when we talk about the actual syntax for it, but you can see that I create a list and here's the, a second list that's inside this overall listing here, but this is what it creates. You can see this kind of square structure when you think about it in terms of the, the way that you think in memory that uh, it'll be set up and so uh, it makes it easy for us to map things in in this way. So we'll use this for all kinds of, of mapping of data and I think that the, you'll find the matrix is very useful for real world uh, items.